Good morning, folks. Noctilucent clouds, indicative of ionization of the upper D region, lower E layer. They used to be rare, only an Arctic phenomenon, but it's happening almost every day now at lower latitudes. They can't figure out why, and all I can think of is that's two layers of our system that are over ionized now. I had this sent to me yesterday, didn't get a chance to see it till last night. I read their site, watched some of the videos, but I haven't had the chance to fully vet this yet and I won't for a while, so this is me asking for your help. They allege that they have solved some of the greatest problems in the world. They plan to unveil this technology on September 21st of this year and if this information is correct, this is what 2012 is all about. If they are telling the truth, Obama is censoring the shit out of this and my channel might not be here much longer just for talking about it. If you have some time, watch these videos, see what they're claiming, and tell me, is this real? We had a 4.9 in the middle of the Indian Ocean. A 5.8 hit Afghanistan. A moderate tremor struck the northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And this morning, a four-pointer hit the southern Caribbean. Bottom right of the frame here, another sun diving comet. This one is pretty big. Should hit the sun tonight. How many times have we said we went a week without a gamma ray burst and then we got double tapped in back-to-back -back days? It happened again. Yesterday's burst was from near the crater constellation. If you remember our planet view at sunset, that's Spica is the star beneath Saturn, and don't forget Arcturus up top. If I turn on the constellation labeling, you can see crater just below them. One or two CMEs set to hit us. First one I showed yesterday, small filament eruption could have put ejector away, but it just may get swept up from behind. Like a Jupiter-sized nuclear bomb, Active Region 11520 fired a 30-minute X-flare. The M-flare lasted almost three and a half hours. With such a long-duration flare, you know radiation storms are possible. We had one almost hit level two last night. Looking at the CME Evolution Endless Spiral, the little yellow dot is Earth on each plot, and that is a giant CME. You can see this model shows direct impact. Something else. This little blue square is Stereo B. As she looks at the sun, you can see Earth is off to the right. You can see that here, Earth off to the right. There's the CME headed our way. Up top, that's the little red square, Stereo A. You can see from this angle, Earth is to the left. Same here from this camera angle, a beast approaches. The delta spot remains in there, folks, blue and red close together within one penumbra, which is the orange area on the left side surrounding the black umbra, although I do see some decay in this active region. Last but not least, as we let the sun color the sky a bit, we have obviously Magnetic Storm Watch set for impact July 14th or 15th. It's been a while since I could say that significant space weather will be geo-effective near the time of significant planetary conjunctions or oppositions. But you got Venus, Jupiter, almost hard to see with Aldebaran in there, Pleiades up top, the moon set to cut through just as the CME hits Earth. Orion is actually just below out of view. The earthquake watch is set for this weekend and early next week, folks. Eyes open. That's the news. Be safe.